G'day lads and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase series where you guys send me your artwork via jazza.newgrounds.com and I showcase 10 of them a week, one of which is picked to be put on the front page of Newgrounds. So getting started, the first piece is by artist Oz Ken K and it's called For a Friend. He says it's a picture he made of his friend's character, so I'm not sure if that's for a campaign or a story that is made up or something like that. It's got a rough painterly sort of naturalistic feel with an interesting sort of lighting and it has a minimal use of refinement in the strokes but comes across as a nice refined finished piece with a very high resolution. I like the symmetry of the scene and the glow from the hand. They've done a great job, keep it up. Next piece is by artist Sam Draws Games and it's called Me in Minecraft. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know basically the tone of the image from the uh, title and the piece itself is very refined and has a very comical fun sort of feel to it. The line work is solid, the composition is strong and the overall colours and balance of the piece is very good too so they've done a great job. Keep up the good work. Next piece by artist I Matty J is called The Fallen Legend and this is a piece which is quite simplistic in its setup. It's uh, basically kind of a logo-esque type uh, feature image of a character from Star Wars and Boba Fett is presented with uh, simple lines and cell shaded colour but it's all very very clean and I really like that the way that this conveys a very strong polished tone I love the simplicity of the piece and the way that it's featured and framed in such a really clean clear way and this artist has some other really interesting and well done polished character artwork as well so make sure to go check that out next piece by artist Russ Fairchild is called skull and we know I love skulls I like the extreme stylization of this skull. It's very cool. I love the eyes and the way they kind of really pull up into the corners and the way the jaw is uh, sort of unhinged and pulled to the side there. It's got that really wacky sort of bizarre warped feel. Next piece by artist Call Me Calv is called Melzahar. The balance of colours in this picture in particular are really nice. I love the way that the uh, orange golden sort of colours and hues uh, mix with the purple and the deep uh, purple pink hue of the background. They've done a really great job of the shading and compositioning. Everything's very strong and they've done a great job. Next piece by artist Annie Noob Kid is called Posh Flamingo. This piece promises and it delivers a posh flamingo. And what can you possibly not enjoy about a flamingo with a top hat, a monocle and a bow tie? The painting of this piece is strong and quite fearless in the sense that uh, it, where there are shadows, they're not you know, hesitated from because a lot of people can often hesitate in doing uh, darks and lights in such strong contrast but this this artist has done a great job with that as well as using different colours for shading hues. For example under the beak instead of just using a pure black to shade they use sort of a grey tone of the pink and then the very simplistic golden cloud texture background complements the piece fairly well. Next piece by artist Joverall22 is called The Reigns of Death. It's a piece that they've created in 3D and rendered, I believe they used CG cookie. And the tone that was achieved through this piece is very well done. It's got that really nice green grey sort of feel. This is another piece that was submitted around Halloween, but like I said uh, in the previous showcase, there's a bit of a delay. So I apologise for getting this to you a bit late. But overall, it's really nice to see a 3D composition. And yes, they are allowed as well as traditional pieces, just so everyone knows. So thank you for creating that and sharing that with us today. Next piece is by artist Cairo Softkin, I think that's how it's pronounced, and it's called Baskut Guild. The artist says quite simply that these are some characters that he's created, and I think that they all have quite a strong and memorable character style to them. It can be quite difficult to create characters that have very strong silhouettes and character features that are memorable, and this character has done a very good job as well as doing color balance so that they all stand out not only on their own but from each other. It's also an effective way of presenting them with the whole full body pose in the lower half of the image and then behind them in a paler sort of fashion uh, the zoomed in cropped portion of the image. Next piece by artist I can't pronounce I'm going to spell S-T-N-K-J-U-C please someone tell me how to pronounce that is called Pleasure. Now this piece is fairly minimalistic when it comes to the amount of details in the image itself it's really more about the form and expression that it's conveying and it conveys that astoundingly well. You look at this piece and you don't even need to read the title to know what it's showing. Now unfortunately in the author description they seem to be a little upset with how it turned out or a bit annoyed that it didn't go exactly how they wanted but I can say personally 
personally, from an outsider's perspective, I think that they've done a fantastic job. And the way that the really soft and subtle shading has been used throughout the piece, as well as not being fearful of using those contrasts between dark and light. And then finally, but not least, the expression itself and the way that that's been realistically portrayed, everything's tied in to create a very effective and beautiful piece. So they've done a fantastic job. And our final piece and feature of the week, ladies and gentlemen, is by artist Sloth Swag, and it's called General Rommel. We've had some pieces submitted by Sloth Swag throughout the showcases, and I believe this is their first ever showcase feature. The other thing this artist deserves great commendation for is the incredible optimization. The whites are white and the darks are dark. Everything is really clean and crisp, and they've made sure that the final piece that they're showing is a true representation of the piece that was created in its raw form. So if you want to see some more fantastic traditional pencil and paper artwork, make sure to check out Sloth Swag. Otherwise, that is it for this week's Artist Showcase. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me, and thank you everyone who entered. Make sure if you want to enter future showcases, you wait for the end of the video or look at the links in the description to see some instructions. Otherwise, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen, and until next time, I'll see you later. Do you want a chance for your artwork to be featured in the next showcase video? Upload your artwork to the art portal on newgrounds.com. Send me a link to your artwork by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time by submitting no more than one image per week to the artist showcase and make sure it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this week's showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.